There is a serious, contagious pandemic going on all across the world right now that needs to be stopped. Simp culture is getting to a point where a girl can sit down on a cushion, turn on her camera, and not only expect money from people, but demand it. Here's the deal. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing. Because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like, that's where it is. But a sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have, you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working you should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton, it's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> That's what that is. Uh, if I wanna go see a movie, but I can't afford to pay for the ticket, I mean, you can just download it. You don't have to sub, you can just watch without supporting it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm unemployed, so basically all my money goes to bills and food, or I would support you. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh-huh. It's five dollars. It's really, like, you're never, you're not gonna, you're, no one's gonna convince me that what I'm saying is so rude, or so unacceptable, or so outrageous. It just simply isn't. It's just, it's five dollars. It doesn't cost you that much to sub. That's so toxic, especially when people are losing their jobs. It really isn't. It, it really isn't toxic to ask for subs when you're streaming. And if you believe it is, then I imagine that you simply don't understand how this platform works. And I encourage you to get more perspective. Oh my, so here we have some excellent 300 IQ comments from the peanut gallery. This conversation sucks. This is weird. Yikes. These are exquisite contributions to a very good conversation. And these people in chat who are making these comments do not appear as immature, childish cheapskapes whatsoever. <laughs> They're just sitting here masturbating as hard as they possibly can, as quietly as they can, because their parents are in the next room talking about how disappointed they are in them. And they're like, why would I ever pay for this when this slut's giving it away for free? <laughs> you're right, buddy, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's five dollars and we're on Twitch. The whole purpose of Twitch is to make money. If you think that it's anything other than that, I think you're very seriously mistaken about what this platform is about. This clip comes from the once popular Twitch streamer, Invader V. I say once popular because after Plowlism posted this clip onto Twitter and had it garner over two million views, her Twitch follower count went from over 200,000 to almost below 100,000 in just one day, which under normal circumstances, that would be pretty insane. But considering how huge the backlash was on Twitter, it honestly makes a lot of sense. The biggest tweet to call out Invader V comes from the most popular female streamer on Twitch, Pokimane, who said, if $5 is an irrelevant amount of money, then she shouldn't need $5 from your subscription. If she argues, it adds up if multiple people give me $5 though, then she should realize it works the same way when it comes to spending. Not to mention that tons of people watch streams after a day of hard work, or while being broke college students, or a multitude of other situations, where they need to be more frugal. Get these shitty takes off my timeline, and off my streaming platform. Rubber Ninja reacts to this by saying, laughing my ass off. What a garbage human. Lythro responds, now this is content. Plalism says, look at those eyes, man. This is how you know she is batshit crazy. Dan's Gaming says, this sounds like an opinion from someone who's never struggled financially, living paycheck to paycheck trying to get all the bills paid. Five dollars can mean the difference of starving or stocking up on ramen for the week. This is coming from a position of privilege and arrogant. Knight Sinclair responds, You're 100% right from what I know of her. Her family is wealthy. People that have never struggled with money can so easily expect it as their right to have it. Boogie2988 responds to the clip by saying, This sounds like she's never been broke. 
Plenty of people I know have been in a position where they were short $10 for a bill they had to pay. $10 can buy a week's worth of ramen noodles. Someone on disability, for example, has time to watch, but no money to spend. Brittany Venti posts a picture of Invader V's Twitter account and says, You guys are really expecting a lot from someone who has this as their profile pic. Showing that her profile picture is only a picture of her thighs and that her Twitter name is Thyranosaurus Rex. Nittle says, Women really be having no talent on Twitch and begging for donations from weirdos. Tylars responds, Bro, she isn't even begging. She's demanding. Laughing my fucking ass off. Roman says, What's her channel? I'm a gift to 100 subs right now. Iraffer then responds, Iraffer is her channel. Nice. Glad says, Laughing my ass off. Really crushing with those 11 subs. Teach me. Colt then responds, Check. Never subbed. Check. Never donated. Check. Ad block on. Check. Stolen laptop. Check. McDonald's Wi-Fi. Check. Free entertainment. Soar Jazzy says, and they said, on to Felicia. Bye. DNP3 says, yuck. To which Uncle Huck666 responds, it costs zero dollars and zero cents to not be like this. Innocent says, there's just no way. Sha'a says, Bro, she deadass thought she went crazy or something. Noah W Plays says, When people say they don't have $10, it's not true. They are just trying to make you feel better about the fact they just simply do not want to sub to you. Invading then responds, Or, some people simply don't have $10 to spend on Twitch sub. Just because someone has $10 doesn't mean it's freely available to be spent on a Twitch sub. Sea God says, How are these people allowed to talk? Pubs then responds, The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Velo says, Why are these people so idiotic and ungrateful? Morphs responds, That's women for ya. I apologize for this joke. Ash then responds, L. Judy says, Not all girls are like that. Jeremiah then responds, Simp? Katwa says, She's gotta be kidding. There's no way she's serious. Mindful Mood then responds, The scary part is, She's serious. Kaibo says, no way this is real. Oh my god. Zach Jones responds, It 100% is. There's clips on her Twitch of it, and I literally saw her do it live yesterday. The sad thing is that at work, in the video above you see someone sub. Yesterday, during the rant, someone gifted 50 subs. I don't get it. Trevor May says, Theoretically, yes. But actually, no. Dredge and Jet says, Rather get a full meal. Can't feed myself on a sub, k bye. Amanda says, like if you lost brain cells watching this. Jackmate responds to the clip by saying, Oh, fuck off. Trusted Texan responds to the clip by saying, This is disgusting. Last time I checked, you were streaming on a platform designed for free live entertainment. I support my friend's streams because I enjoy the stream. No one should ever feel forced to donate to a streamer. This is ridiculous. Optimus responds to her by saying, Don't give her your Twitch Prime slash sub slash donations. Give them to twitch.tv slash sub to Optimus. And then he shows a picture of someone reading why women deserve less. After this, we get a new interesting clip from the streamer posted by Chaotic Crispy with the caption, Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. What's your audience's average age? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I only really like, keep track of the people who support me. And the people who support me are usually um, men in relationships or actively dating between the ages of, I think, 25 to maybe 42. Mm -hmm. They usually work in tech. Um, a lot of engineers are in here right now. It's really crazy. The other day when we were talking about um, like what we all do for a living. Oh no, so when you guys um, don't know to me, uh, it tells me your name that is attached to your PayPal. And if your name is attached to your PayPal and you don't know to me, I look you up on Google. I Google each and every one of your names and I creep your LinkedIn's. <laughs> a lot of engineers. Optimus responds to this by saying, dog, not only is she a fucking idiot, she's also a stalker. I can't. Repsion says, What the fuck? BWC says, She sounds like she should be on some government watch list. Internet Unwind says, Whoa, hold up. I've not been saying pretty much anything about this because a ton of these turn out to be allegedly in character when doing this. That being said, What the fuck did she just say? <laughs> this can't be real! Blues Dank shows the same clip on his timeline and says, What the fuck, man? Please someone cut her internet off. Please. LOL. She liked this tweet? 
What the fuck do you mean she's going to get more money? LOL. Showing a tweet that Invader V liked by third artifact that reads out, Can we stop giving attention to bitches saying people have to sub to them? Cause it's not that much. We all know it's satire. We all know it's gonna result in them getting more money slash views. It's just really annoying at this point. Blue's Dank then continues to talk about her by saying, Okay, I'm gonna say this once. If you are a streamer and your views are low and you think that begging your viewers for money and or you make them feel bad for not doing so, then please stop streaming. It's not for you. But anyway, yeah, make sure to be at least a tier 2 or don't turn up to my stream. Twiz Fizz decide to poke fun at the entire situation by making a parody of this with the caption, Honestly, don't even join my stream if you don't have $5 to sub. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have as long as you're giving it to me. I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. I shouldn't have to ask you. You should just give it to me, you stingy fuckers. What I'm saying is, I work very hard to sit on my fat, juicy, desirable ass all day, and the least you virgin simtards can do is fund my lifestyle. I mean, a sub is $5. Do you have $5? The correct answer should be no, because you should have already given it to me. If you don't have $5, then you shouldn't be watching Twitch because you're probably not allowed to be considering you must be a slave. Honestly, that is kind of concerning because it just means you're not a slave to me. Why are you here? Okay, let me put it this way. A meal is $20, which means if you skip a meal, you can sub to me four times. Imagine how many times you could sub to me if you just didn't eat. So saying I'm poor, I can't afford to sub, that doesn't really track. What you meant to say is, I am a povo piece of shit living under a bridge, shitting into a box, stealing some random ass cafe's Wi-Fi so I can watch Twitch to distract myself from the fact that my parents are very disappointed and depressed in the human being I have become and I should just off myself. <laughs> That's what that means. Ricky Berwick responds to her by saying this. Eat my fucking ass, you greedy little slut. Twiz Fizz then responds, you have to donate $15 for that. Ricky Berwick then replies, okay, you've been paid, fucking simp. But that's not it. We have one more clip to end off this video. It comes from Augie RFC and he captions it by saying, Twitch ruined an entire generation of women. The seated position to continue the conversation about why I like to fuck dinosaurs. Um, not that I like to like fuck dinosaurs. Nobody wants to like actually fuck a dinosaur. But like I would fuck a dinosaur if I had the chance. If somebody gave me the opportunity to fuck a dinosaur, I would fuck a dinosaur in a heartbeat. There's nothing wrong with that. I would, we would all, I mean, can we just let people enjoy things? Can we just let people enjoy things? I would fuck a dinosaur. If I could go back in time and I could see a dinosaur I, and, it was, and I was able to communicate with it so that we could consensually do it, I would fuck a dinosaur. When a dinosaur split, there's lots of different sizes of dinosaurs, you dinguses. Also, a Tyrannosaurus rex lived closer to the time of the construction of the pyramids than it did to the time of the Stegosaurus. This little dude over here, this little green baby right here. So don't even fucking at me about like dinosaur size or when or why or how. Like, there's a lot of dinosaurs to choose from, guys. I mean, of course, by all means, enjoy things, but like oddly specific? Is that bestiality? Um. Holy shit, she has to be trolling at this point. Fucking dinosaurs? This is way too much for me. I think I'm done talking about this for now. If more stuff comes out in regards to this situation or any other drama on Twitter, I will be covering it on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe with notifications on to make sure you don't miss any of that. Also, follow my Twitter if you want to keep up to date even more frequently. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular Josh Pescator and Continued Bear for donating $30 a month. They have pretty cool YouTube channels if you'd like to check those out. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video as long as you pay me five dollars a month